Welcome to Jurassic... Welcome to Dinosaur World. Uh, we're going to be playing Dinosaur World today. We're going to be doing the solo player experience. And Dinosaur World, you are trying to make the best dinosaur park that you can to make it exciting and fun for all your people and maybe also make it safe for them so that they don't get killed. Um, the solo setup is very similar to the two-player setup. So what you see here is what I've, you know, put together. Um, there's a lot going on on the board, so... You know, the top-down cam may look a little messy, but uh, I'm going to try my best to, you know, say out loud what I'm doing. Um, also, this is my first time playing this, so I've read through the rules. I've also read through the um, solo player experience. I'm bound to probably get something wrong. You'll see in, like, in the video when I mess up something, when I'm doing the editing, I'll try and make sure I note it. Um, and then when I do my how-to-play video for this eventually, uh, hopefully I'll get all this stuff right then. But um, nonetheless, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you're returning, also welcome. Uh, you can find information down in the description below. Uh, I'll try putting timestamps in here too. And if you like the video, like, comment, or subscribe. Also, you can check out our Ko-fi page for more information about us. Um, so, nonetheless, I'm Jared from The Broken Seal, and let's get to it. All right, so I'm starting off uh, in the book. They had a new player setup variant um, instead of doing the normal dra uh, drafting for tiles. So I'm using the casino and the stegosaurus as my starting tiles. Um, I've discarded the rest off to the sides. I've also started off with uh, eight gold or eight coins. And then my first upgrade for the Jeep was two more coins. So I have 10 total and Everything else is set up normally. So let's get into it. We're gonna flip over our first AI card. So, first AI card, we can ignore the, the most left one because we are not we don't have any dinosaurs, so no one's gonna escape or move paddocks. Next, we're gonna roll four of the DNA dice. Or rather not roll, we're just gonna pull out four. One, two, Three, four, and then we'll put that off to the side until we do our cleanup phase. For our public actions, we can take as many public actions as we want. Also, I need to flip over our worker database. All right, so for worker database, we have these three cards available to us. I'll put them out here. Um, I still imagine I get to draw one, like I said, play as a two player. So in two players, you would draw the number of players plus one worker database cards. Um, so I'm gonna get this one since it allows me to get a, what is that, engineer? Uh, park ranger, it allows me to get a park ranger. Um, all right, so first action. Well, first thing at first, I need to get my, so I have a park ranger. I get one park ranger, one administrator, one scientist, two security workers, and one, two, three, four seasonal hires who have no special bonuses to them. All right, so what do I wanna do here? So I'm gonna use my seasonal hires. I'm gonna use three of them to get three die or three DNA on the, the that are showing on the die. So I'll get this one for three. One, two, three. Actually, do I, I don't even need that one. Actually, I'm not gonna get that one, hold on. So I need purple. So I'll get three of those. One, two, three. I don't know why I said three. I get one purple. Then I'll get one of a yellow basic DNA and then I'll get this double one 
which will give me one purple and one orange. And one of the key things uh, is that you have to make sure you keep workers for when you do your private actions, which are just on your board, because uh, you still need people to work both publicly and privately for you. So I'm going to make sure that I don't spend too many people doing stuff here first. Um, so I'm going to build an attraction. Building an attraction, you can buy and place one special building. And if I remember correctly, attractions don't require a worker to be placed. Yeah, they don't cost any workers. Um, so let me move off my... I'll put these over here so they can be hidden underneath my face. Um, so of my 10 here, I'll spend... I should probably buy security early on. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna buy security. Seven, eight. To buy the security. And I'm gonna place it here. Um, hey look, there's another security. And then I'm going to... Oh yeah, also because I'm doing a solo player, there were two specialists that I could have. Um, I so I have the lawyer and the mechanic. I just got them randomly because I don't know you know enough about the game yet. Um, the lawyer allows me to put in an administrator and discard up to two deaths that I gained this round. And the mechanic allows me to put in a uh, park ranger and plus one coin and immediately gain the benefits of one unlocked jeep jeeple bonus. All right. So, I only have two coin left, and I can't buy anything here. Maybe I should have not spent all my money on the security. I could get the Triceratops. So yeah, for the Triceratops, I just need the uh, Park Administrator. So I can spend a park administrator and one gold uh, coin to take a Triceratops. And then there's rules about placing your Triceratops token or uh, your tiles. So it's just that I have to place it immediately. They can't be adjacent to another dinosaur paddock and they have to be touching something else. So I'll put my Triceratops paddock up here. Like that. And then this gets replaced. This gets moved up. This gets replaced with the Velociraptor. And so these are our goals that we're going to be working with, the objectives. Um, I believe this one is to have two herbivores and three small carnivores. So for right now, these are going to be hard to get. Okay. And then, is there anything else that I want to do? I've gotten a dinosaur paddock. I've gotten an attraction. I have a special building. Oh, I didn't get a special building. I got DNA. Uh, I think I'm going to end my private, my public actions at that point. So then we're on to private actions. Let me just double check for solo player stuff. Okay, so nothing for the solo player stuff applies here. Um, luckily, you can still see all this on the top down. Um, so I'm going to... I want to get my Jeep up higher. So I'm going to use my dude here, plus one coin, or yeah. So the park administrator, when I put him down, not a park, the park ranger, when I put him down, allows me to pay one less for an upgrade. So I can get this one for free. And then I can put, I'm going to put my seasonal worker and then pay one to increase this up to two, which gives me 
the next upgrade. So I now have three movements and I'm going to get a increase in my security. All right, so I've done the Jeepo Garage. Um, I can't do the casino because I don't have an administrator. Uh, let's see, I could make dinosaurs. Oh, no. Yeah, I could make dinosaurs. Do I have enough? So, making a dinosaur, I can make a Stegosaurus or a Triceratops. Stegosaurus, I have enough to make uh, one. Triceratops is actually cheaper. So, I am going to... I'm going to use my scientist to make dinosaurs and I'll spend a blue basic and a purple advanced to make one triceratops which instantly gives me one threat and one victory point and you know what? Because I have my increased security thing, I'm going to actually use one of my workers to make another dinosaur. So I will make a Stegosaurus using one yellow basic and two red basic. to bring out the Stegosaurus, which instantly gives me four victory points. Okay, and I think that might be the end of my private actions, because I want to hold on to the one worker I have at least. Um, so, then we move to my Jeeple tour, starting on the Welcome Center. I'm gonna go to security, place a worker there, and I get two security and then I gain no excitement and people have already become bored of the security place there apparently not killing people doesn't excite them um, so I wouldn't be able to go back down to my stegosaurus because I can't go back through the welcome center hmm in a perfect world you'd find a way to make this so this game is going to be very hard to play on camera uh just as a little aside um i'm thinking when we play this with at least one other person i'm gonna take off the topper put this down into the table and then we'll play it that way which i don't think we've actually had any channels or any games on the channel with that uh we were filmed sky tear sky tier um but i lost the footage on it so it never came out but um, nonetheless, I'm gonna move this down a bit. And now that I know how this game works a little bit more, I'm gonna put my Triceratops. So sadly, we might lose some stuff on our bottom part, but I'm gonna put this over here. So that way I can go up here to the Triceratops. And First, I'm gonna gain, actually no, first I have to roll excitement. No, boredom, and I have to roll our green danger die. So no deaths, it gains one boredom. Then I gain two excitement. And then I'm gonna drive down to the casino where I gain three excitement and one boredom for future turns. And that's the end of my Jeeple tour. Uh, 
which I think ends the round. Because the, uh, for the solo player, the only thing that matters in the Jeepal Tour is if you have escaped dinosaurs or something along those lines. Um, yeah, the Jeepal Tour, that's the only thing that matters. Okay. At the end of each Jeepal Tour, you must make a danger roll for all of your theoretical competitors. Roll all three danger dice, then count the total number of deaths rolled and subtract one. Place that many death tokens in the central island. Central Islands near the Gather DNA space, because this represents my competitors who have had deaths. So we have two deaths for our competitors. But they don't count against me, and that's what matters. Um, and then I do my end around stuff. So return the Jeeple and route tokens. Uh, Jeeple bonus, gain the benefits of all Jeeple bonus tokens that I have slotted. So I gain one security increase and two coin. Uh, collect the number of coins shown on your current space in the excitement. So I earned five excitement this round or this season. Um, reset excitement, move excitement back to the zero space. Return workers, return all workers placed in your park to the general supply. You may save any unused worker for the next round. Uh, well, I used all of mine. Um, then I would evaluate threat. Compare your threat track to your security track. If you have more threat than security, gain death tokens. We're good. Uh, clean up the central island. Return all leftover DNA, DNA diced back to the bag. Oops. Hold on there, Stegosaurus. Discard two dinosaur paddock tiles. Uh, so this part does differ. In this one, we are going to, instead of doing the normal discard for the round, we're going to discard five of these. One, two, three, four, and the top one. So these five get discarded. Then we pull out new ones. Then we get rid of three dinosaur paddocks. And get new ones of those as well. Then that's the end of that. These are all going to go back. I didn't have any unused workers, so they've all left. Then we move to round two. All right, so for round two, discard this. We get our workers. So these are our options. Um, I'm gonna get this I worker database card because it gives me two park rangers. Then our goals for this round. So first, so we don't have any escaped dinosaurs yet, so they don't move. So we can ignore this yellow arrow pointing down for their escape. For each paddock in your park that has one or more dinos, check if there is an adjacent tile in the direction the first arrow is pointing. So first arrow is pointing top left. Stegosaurus is no. Triceratops is no. Um, if there's a tie, one dino escapes up. One dino escapes from the paddock. Move the dino to the rightmost filled slot to the adjacent tile. Place one escape token on the vacated slot. If there is no tile in that direction, check again in the direction the second arrow is pointing. Second arrow is pointing diagonally up and right. Again, no and no. If there is no tile in either direction, no dinosaurs escape from that paddock. So we're good. 
Also, I usually cut out when I have to like look up the rules and all that, just so that it looks a little bit cleaner. But um, this has a lot of stuff to it. I don't want to get it wrong. You're just going to have to kind of bear with me because I'm learning along with you. So that's our objective. We're going to get four DNA dice. I'm getting all blues, and I don't like it. Well, there we go, some yellow. Oh, I need to get my workers. So, so for our public actions, for this objective in the top here, if I get the incubator, I can achieve that. So I think I might do that. So. So that's a special building. And for special buildings, I need anyone and the number of coins. So I'll spend five coins, get one back, and I'll give up a seasonal worker to get the incubator. And I'm gonna slot that here. Then this moves down here. And we get the prehistoric garden. So the incubator now, uh, when I get it, I immediately score one victory point and make up the two dinosaur, make up the two dinosaurs each cost one, uh, minus one DNA. That's cool. So we score the objectives at the end during the incoming cleanup. Um, so even though I've completed that one, cause we just need one, two, three, four, five, and I have four. Oh, so I haven't cleaned it yet. Actually, I need to get one more security. Um, which I can do during my uh, drive, or I can do it in my Jeepal phase as long as I have some excitement, which right now I don't, because I'd have to pay one. Um, I might go up to the casino and then down. Um, but that's later. So, I built a special building. You know, build a special building on this cheat sheet card says it doesn't cost a worker. But that icon makes me think it's a cost of worker. Let me just double check. So yeah, I apparently found a little hiccup they have because this says build a special building, no worker costs, buy and place one attraction. But the book and this both say that building a special building requires one worker. So, oops. Nonetheless, I did it right. That's what matters most to me. Um... I should get that. Oh, the, one of the caveats is that you can't have, I thought for whatever reason when I was reading the rules, I thought it said you can't have tiles with the exact same number. So I was gonna be upset that I couldn't have the incubator, but we're good. Um, I'd like to get the restaurant, but I, I'm i kind of cash poor. I could afford it. I'm not the restaurant, um, the roller coaster. You know what? That will be an easy way to get some excitement. So I'm going to get the roller coaster, which means I won't be able to upgrade my Jeep this turn. And I have a lot of workers left. So hopefully I can do a lot of actions here at the end. There's no public action that lets me get money, which kind of sucks. So I think I might have to stop public actions. Well, gather DNA isn't doesn't cost anything, so I might as well do at least some of that. So I'll do. Mm. So I'm gonna spend two. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna spend two of these, which will let me gather DNA. I'm going to take these two, so the blue and the, the double blue and the double yellow. To go one, two, one, two. Then, because I used two scientists to do it, I get an additional one of my choice. I get an additional one of my choice, so I'm going to get, so for future rounds, I'll need purple. I'm going to need at least two purple. 
which I have. It won't hurt to get anything. So I'm going to bump this up to two to get two red DNA. Um, then I'm going to end my public actions. So we're over to private actions. For private actions, I'm not going to do DNA refinement. I could do funding. I'm going to send a seasonal person to get funding so that I have three. Uh, I'm going to send both of my mechanics to the Jeeple garage. So it would normally cost four to move up to, but it's only going to cost two because I use mechanics. One, two. I guess I could use another seasonal worker and just pay the, the two flat out. I might, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, oh wait, what was I? I need to save that. And I need at least one worker left. One, two, one, two, three. I'm going to spend the last person, or not the last, I'm going to spend a seasonal worker and two coin so that I can move up, getting a fourth movement, and I'll unlock a worker. And I'm going to take a, I'm going to take an administrator. Then... I'm going to end my private actions. Um, so now I'm going to do my Jeeple tour. So I'm going to go up from the Welcome Center. Let me take these off so that you don't get confused. Go up from the Welcome Center to the casino. While at the casino, I'm going to spend a worker, our administrator, which allows me to draw five, draw and roll five die. Do I have five in here? One, two, three, four, five. I do have five. Okay. Let's see, how can I? I'll just hide my face for this one. All right, so not a great roll. Uh, I'll choose this yellow symbol, uh, so I gain two coin, two coin, then I gain two excitement, this one increases to a two, people are becoming more and more bored with the casino as seasons go on, but I'm okay with that for right now, then from the casino I'm going to go down to security. While in the security, I am gonna put in a security officer to get to security. One, two. And I have to pay one excitement because it's very boring. And now excitement has gone up, or boredom has gone up to two. Then I'm going to Go over to the roller coaster where I get plus one. Uh, if I put in a worker, I'll get plus one excitement per connected tile. So right now I get two plus the one from the tile itself. So I have three. One, two, three. And for our last Jeeple movement, I'm going to come down to the incubator. I don't have a worker, so I can't put in two dinosaurs, but I do get two excitement. One, two, which brings me up to six. Then that's the end of that phase. Let's see what we're going to be discarding. So we're going to discard three special tiles. One, two, three. This is going to go one, two, three. Then we're going to get 
the photo booth, another incubator, and an evacuation site. Something I just noticed is that my incubator costs four gold, whereas this one costs seven gold. So I'm glad I bought mine early on. Uh, then we're going to discard three dinosaur paddocks. One, two, three. Discarded. Then we're going to... I get five coin. I get uh, a, a worker of my choice. So I'll get a... I'm gonna get another mechanic. I said, yeah, mechanic, I got it right. Um, then I also increase one security and get two gold or a coin. And that's the end of that phase. Checking objective to see if I want anything. Um, like I said, I get this objective, which gives me four victory points. One, two, three, four. And I need to complete it by round two to get an additional four. One, two, three, four. We turn that face down. Um, for this one, we needed to have one science, one money making, one, which is the share symbol. I'm not sure entirely what that is, like the photo booth. Oh, social media. Uh, so I don't have this one yet. Don't have that. Have 10 tiles in your park. Two, four, six seven so not that what's this objective one two three four have four of have four special tiles i have one two three that's not a special tile so i don't have that reach four movement on the jeepal track which i have done and i need to do that by round three so i did that one two three so I get two excitement. And since I've done it by round two, I get an additional six. And I haven't done either of the other two. So we're gonna move this down, reset our excitement. Uh, I need to roll, which one is it? I need to roll these three. another two deaths for our competitors and we will move to the next round for this round, no escape dinosaurs yet. These, however, for no movement of escape dinosaurs, but for escaping out, we do have our stegosaurus breaking out and going into the welcome center. So when a dinosaur uh, when a dinosaur escapes, we put down one of our escape uh, cubes. So that way we know that there's an escaped dinosaur. Um, so let's move all these off. Put them off to the side. And we're only gonna roll three DNA dice this time. Or pull three DNA dice. One, two, a three. Okay. 
So if I get that social media, oh, I need to get a worker database. So let's see what we have available this season. Hmm. I am a fan of mechanics, so I think I might get B. Yeah. It also gives me a lot of options compared to the other two. Alright, so I get two mechanics, one administrator. Uh, I also get one scientist, one security officer. I just forgot, I forgot to clear these off. But I also get four seasonal workers who have no special benefits. So there's three and four. All right. Private actions begin, or public actions begin. So I have a pretty good amount of DNA, at least for the dinosaur paddocks that I have right now. I feel like I should get some carnivores, although it's real risky and they don't provide that much. Oh, they provide a lot of victory points though. So I'm going to get, I'm going to use my park administrator. And three coin to get the irritator. Uh, damn it. I'm going to put the irritator down here. Can you still see? All right, so yeah, I'm gonna have the irritator down by the roller coaster and the incubator, which brings out the tiny, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oddly enough, um, I don't know why I said oddly enough. Um, so if I want to make one of those, I'm gonna need two red, one green, one orange and two blue Ooh, that's expensive but i can do it i might want to also gather some dna so i'm going to send two people over here i'm going to send one seasonal worker and one scientist and i'll get um hmm. so for the seasonal worker i'll gain the one of anything I'm pretty sure that's what that symbol means. One of any base DNA. So I'll get... I'll get one red. Then, with my scientist, I'll get these two. So I realized I've been doing the gather DNA action wrong. The number of workers you put there is the number of DNA you get from the action. So for instance, let's put this one back. I put two workers out and I got this one so I could get two base DNA of my choice. So I only got one. Um, I'll get one more. And then because I have a scientist there, I get to get an additional one DNA of my choice. And that one can be advanced. So I'll get a green one. Then you return it back to the bag, which explains why there was some mention of leftover and I never had leftover. Um, all right, so that was that action. I need to build a special building. So I'm gonna get 
my seasonal worker out of here to go set up a photo booth up here. And I'm going to spend my last six coins. And oh, then this shifts down, that shifts down. We have the T Rex jet ski. The photo booth does not give me any instant um, victory points, so you can ignore that. And I think I'm going to end it there for my public actions. So for private actions, I'm going to make dinosaurs. I'm going to use a seasonal worker to make a dinosaur. So for the ir uh, irritator, I need to spend two blue, one, two, two red, one, two, one green, and one orange and I gain an Irritator, which gets me instantly two threat, one, two, and five victory points. So I'm up to 28. And um, so that was one private action. I'm gonna go to the Jeepal Garage. Oh, I don't have any money. I'm gonna go for funding. I'll send a seasonal worker and one mechanic. So I get five. Then I'm gonna assign one mechanic to the Jeep, uh, two mechanics to the Jeep garage. Actually, what do I need here? I need at least one, two, three for what I was planning on doing. Actually, I need four. So I'm gonna pull back this one and that. So instead of getting five, I'm only gonna get three. And end my turn, or end the private actions. Then I'll do my Jeeple garage or Jeeple tour. So starting from the welcome center, I can spend one meeple. I can spend one meeple to return the dinosaur back to their paddock. Then I'm gonna go, I haven't gotten any act, uh, excitement, so I can't go to the security yet because I don't have anything to spend. Um, I might go, if I go one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go down to the Stegosaurus that we just freed up. Uh, I roll the green danger die. No death. And excitement wanes a bit. Although this has been here for like three seasons and people don't care. Um, but I do still gain two Excitement, one, two. Then I'm gonna go over to the incubator. Uh, I'm not gonna activate the incubator. I'm just gonna drive through the incubator. Then I'm gonna go to the roller coaster, right? Yeah. Roller coaster, I am gonna activate. Oh, you know what, see, I knew I did that right. So yeah, rewind real quick. I had an extra meeple to spend, so I'll have had five total, which I'm just going to get twos. Which, considering the fact that I made it to round three without having to retract too much, that's pretty good for me. Um, so on the roller coaster, I'm going to spend a mechanic. I've been here before. I should have had this. Should already be at one. That's my fault. Um, so I get plus one excitement per tile. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, but then 
I don't gain any excitement from it because it was already at one, now it goes up to two. And then my final Jeepal tour is gonna take me up to the photo booth. And in the photo booth, um, I would gain one excitement, but we'll do that later. I don't know what all this means. Oh, I can spend one, if I put a worker in there, I can spend one or four excitement to gain one or four victory points which I don't think I want right now. So I'm not gonna do that. Then I gain one excitement and one boredom. Then our end of round, we're gonna discard four. One, two, three, four. Uh, we're gonna discard three of these. You know, I don't feel like there's ever less than three discards for this. And we put out three more. And luckily the dinosaur paddocks, we just shuffle them back up when they run out. And I can ignore that. Um, now, for social or uh, for objectives, I do have each of those three, and I have the two dinosaurs. So I gain five victory points. One, two, three, four, five, and I did it by round three. So four, one, two, three, four. Then no ten tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. Um, one, two, three, four. I don't, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay. Let me clear this off. Let me clear my throat. If y'all want to party like we do, if y'all want to party like us, let me hear you say, ah, 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 ah. I can keep this. Um, then I get my Jeepal actions. I get all that, so I'm gonna get two coin, one security, and one worker of my choice. I'm gonna get a scientist, or a park administrator, right? And, top of the round. We have one dinosaur, if they were escaped, would move. Let me clear these off real quick. So one dinosaur, if it was escaped, would move. We don't have any escaped ones yet. Then one dinosaur would move up. I need to find out the order that they would move because the Stegosaurus would move first. And I kind of want that to happen. For each paddock in your park that has one or more dinos, check if there's an adjacent tile in the direction the first arrow is pointing. If there is a tile, one dinosaur escapes from the paddock. Only one dinosaur, only one dino can escape from each paddock each round. Damn it. So that means. All right, so sadly they both escape. So the Stegosaurus runs to the welcome center. People start yelling, hooping, and hollering. Then the Irritator goes up to the roller coaster and. People are taking pictures of it. So I'm gonna need to get those back. All right. Also, because we've moved into, oh, I didn't gain my excitement. So I have six coins. As we move into round four, uh, first we have to reset our excitement, then I flip my welcome center. Actually, so I guess this wouldn't have been there. That would have moved up. I forgot that that happened, like the, the order that this happens. 
because the welcome center has to move because now we have a park entrance. Um, it has to be three spaces away, I believe it said. At the end of round three, when the round marker advances, all players replace their welcome center with the new park entrance. It has to be at least three spaces away. So, was here. One, two, three. So I'll put it here. Because that seems like a good spot. Um, we're going to be rolling three DNA dice, or pulling three DNA dice. Also just now found out when I was checking the rules that for each uncompleted objective I will get minus 10 victory points so I need to get on that I can get the 10 tiles easily enough I need to get a purple a, a small carnivore which will not be easy because there are currently none available and I do have two rounds to do it, so I'm not too, too worried about it. So this requires a small, they all require, require small carnivores. Except this one, which, you know, requires a buttload of large carnivores. Okay. Workers, we have this one available. So we have these three available. Um, all right. I am going to stay with my mechanic heavy focus. I'm going to get B again. So B will give us two mechanics. Now that I have money, mechanics are, you know, a little bit more of a viable option. One scientist. Or one park administrator, one scientist. One security officer and four seasonal hires. Did I increase? Yes, I did. All right, so I'm going to need to get dinosaurs. So I'll send a scientist and two seasonal workers up here to gather DNA. So that means I would be able to get three. All right, so I don't need that much DNA. So I'm going to send one seasonal worker and one scientist, and I'll get this triple one. So that would get me six red. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And one additional one of my choice. Um, if I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need reds. So I need this irritator. I have two red, one green, one orange, and I'm gonna need one purple. So I'm good on that. So I'm gonna increase my green um, I need another building here 
doesn't say what it has to be. It just has to be, I just need to have 10 tiles. So I'll get the, I already have the roller coaster, so I can't get that again. And I can't get security. So I'll get the merchandise shop. So I'll spend three coin to get the merchandise shop. And I will end my public actions there. Private actions. One, two. So I'm gonna put all three mechanics here, which give me a discount on one, so it'll be two, four, seven. which will get me up to here. Increases my movement to five. And I will unlock, oh look at that, you have to choose which ones you get. Um, so I'm either gonna get two basic or one advanced. I'll get one advanced. And my one advanced, because I get it immediately, will be orange. And aside from that, I'm going to get funding, so I'll get three. Then, so I'm going to start from the park entrance. Let me put him over there. I'm going to have to go to the roller coaster to put him back in his paddock. Then it's going to take an additional person to be able to do the roller coaster action. need to find out the order of operations for the, the tiles so step one place workers step two gain and spend excitement step three increase boredom step four take action okay So I won't be able to activate the roller coaster because I won't gain the excitement until the end of the tile. Oh, sorry, I also forgot I was going to be. So I'm going to make dinosaurs. Uh, so the irritator will cost two reds, one, two, one green one orange, and one purple to make a second irritator. So now I've got two dinos, two red dinos. Uh, actually, I can make a third one now. Oh, so when I did that, I gained five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make a second one, um, which will still cost, move them off the side real quick, three reds. One, two, three. One green, down to zero. One orange, down to zero. And there we go. So now we have three dinosaurs here. And all right. Um if I so I have to go here, spend one person. I'm gonna come down here, because then I'll get two, five, eight excitement. Then So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. And I would need one person, two person, three person. Okay. So I'm going to end my turn there. 
uh, my private action. Then we're going to go into Jeeple Tour. I'm going to go from the park entrance down to the roller coaster. Spend one person to bump him back into his paddock. Yeah. Just wanted to double check that I was doing it right. So yeah, I spent one to move him back to his paddock. I'm not going to activate the roller coaster. Then two, I'm going to go down to the irritator paddock. I have three dinos there, no boredom. So I gain two, five, eight excitement. And roll our danger die. No deaths. Got lucky on that one. Um, and we gain one boredom. They're irritators. How can you be bored? Then from the irritators, I'm going to go to the incubator. Not activate that. Merchandise shop. Activate that. So I gain one coin, and then I roll two of our DNA dice. Put that one back. I'll put them over here. Uh, and I gain the indicated DNA. So I gain one blue and one teal or green. And. Uh, I also gain one excitement and one boredom. Then I'm gonna go north to the merchandise or to the casino and activate it with my administrator. So I will draw and roll five. One, two, three, four, five. So, we'll put them over here. Again, the most I can get is two, so I'll go with the yellow. And I gain two coins. Um, then that's the end of my private actions. Since I keep doing this cleanup phase wrong, I want to actually. So that was private. Then we're going to do income and cleanup. Uh, return your Jeeple and route markers. I now see that I put this photo booth in the wrong spot. Unless I were to go down to the roller coaster, down, so I could go one, two, three, four, five, something like that. Um, returned all those back, gained the Jeeple bonus, so I spent all of my workers, but um, I gained one advanced DNA. I'll get, is it purple? I mean, orange? Yeah, I'm gonna get orange. Uh, I gain one worker of my choice. I'll gain mechanic. I gain one security. Oh, you know what? I forgot to increase my threat for both of these. So, ooh. I made two. Yeah, I made two dinosaurs. So, I increase my threat by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I gained 15. So I was at 42, that's 57. Um, I gained two coins. Then collect the number of coins indicated by my excitement level. I'm at a level nine, so I gained eight coins which I'm gonna put back two and gain 10. Um, and reset the excitement, which I know that part is later, but I'm just gonna do it now. Um, 
Oh, look at that. Reset excitement. See? Return workers. That was everybody. Then evaluate threat. My threat is still good. Clean up Central Island. That's where this comes back into play. We're going to get rid of four special tiles and three dinosaur paddocks. Goat pen. Amber extraction. DNATM and the vault. And then all three of these. There we go. So we have Velociraptor, Brontosaurus, and Dilophosaurus. We're moving down to round five. This clears away. This comes out. No escape dinosaurs. But this goes south. And these two don't have anywhere to travel south, so they stay where they are. That's the end of that one. We're going to be rolling four DNA dice. One DNA dice, two DNA dice, three DNA dice, four, ah, ah, ah. And let's see what workers we have this season. We've been open for four years. Can you guys believe it? Or four seasons? Five? Well, yeah, four seasons. We're going into our fifth season. And this will be our last season. Um, All right. Oh, you know, hold on. Pause. We have to figure out the objectives. I do have 10 of these, so I gained 7. So I was at 7, and I'll be at 14, which is 64. Um, that was round 4 when I got it, so I gained an additional 3. 1, 2, 3. Turn that down. Don't have tiny dinosaurs. Can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to need to get a dinosaur paddock for the velociraptors, and I have to get two velociraptors. So I'm going to need administrators, and, alright, so I'm going to get card C, one scientist, one security officer, and four seasonal workers. All right, so I can't activate the security tile because there's a dinosaur currently escaped on it. Um, okay, so velociraptors need yellow, yellow, red, orange. So I can make two, two. I'll need an additional orange to make a third, I mean to make a two. So I'm going to send one seasonal worker to gather DNA to get me an advanced DNA and I'll get orange. Because what do I need? One, two, three, four, five. I can't get the red one. So this one will get, be gone. This one in theory I could do, but I'm kind of banking on these two to get done. Um, all right, so did that. I could also use the incubator to get a discount on it, to make a third. Yes. I'm going to take a 
gamble. So on that action, I would have done two to have gotten two orange. Two seasonal workers, two oranges. Um, then I'm going to use an administrator and one gold uh, coin to get the Velociraptor paddock, which let's just keep sliding here. So this one will be here. I'm just going to put it like that. You even see that? Uh, damn this board. I'll put it like that. There we go. So I have a Velociraptor paddock. Now people can come straight into the entrance and go right up to a Velociraptor. The best thing ever. Um, I don't need any of those, so I'm going to end it there. Then private actions. I need him for, so I'm going to go to the Jeep garage. So I would need four, eight, 12, which I have, but I need three workers to do it. All right, so I'm going to spend these three workers and 12 coin. to increase this up to three, which will get me seven additional victory points, which brings me to 74. <sighs> Forgot that I needed to, you know what, I shouldn't have done that. So, hold on. Let me get all this back. I need to make dinosaurs. So instead of putting three there, I'm going to put two there at least. And to make the Velociraptor, I'm going to make two. So I'll spend two yellow, two red, two orange, three orange. And that gives me two Velociraptors. And also gets me instantly nine victory points and an additional four threat. So one, two, three, four. I have my thing off in the bag. I'm not going to go get it right now. We're at an additional stuff. Um, and what happens when threat increases instantly okay the threat is only issue at the end of the round when threatens and uh, security don't match up so I am going to put an administrator in the security office spend four to increase our security. And then I could, I could stop it there. I wanna go one, two, three, four, and then I guess five. No, five, the casino. I didn't increase the threat or the boredom here at the casino last time. Sorry about that, folks. Um, oh yeah, so I'll need one. I'll need one person, two people, three, four. Damn. That's fine. All right. Ending private actions, going into my Jeeple tour. I'm going to go up to the Velociraptors. My Velociraptors, I have to roll a purple danger die. I got a death. Dun, dun, dun. It was bound to happen.
Also, raise your hand if you remember the last time I rolled for the danger dice. I only did two. So I should have one, two, I should have two more danger dice rolls for the AI. So that's two more. One more. So three more total. I'm just going to give them a five. Those three more total, they were at four. I can't rationally explain that, explain that brain fart. It just happened. Um, so anyway, I come up here. I gain three victory points, or three excitement. Um... And boredom goes up to one. Then go down to the photo booth. Um, don't know why. Could go one, two, three. Four, five, or four, five. Or if we go one, two, three, four, five. I think I might do that. Or four, five. Either way. So, went to the photo booth, not activating it. Going to security, I'm going to spend one worker to kick the dinosaur back to where he belongs. And then one security to get two. Brings you to one, two. Then I'm gonna come down to the incubator. Oh, um, being there cost, because I activated it, it costs two excitement, which increases to three at the end of the, uh, after I do it. So, one, two. Then I'm gonna come down to the incubator. I will activate the incubator. Can I do it? No, I can't activate it. But I, I will activate the incubator spot, which gives me one excitement. People haven't yet been bored by science on this island or this park. Then, let me do that, do that, do that. Now one, two, three, four, down to here. And I will activate the irritators. So I roll a danger die. Still nothing. I feel like I should roll that again. Okay, there's two. Why do I feel like I should roll it again? It just felt like it. So I gained two deaths. But luckily, I'm going to spend my scientist, or my park administrator, for my lawyer to discard up to two that I've gained this round. Two deaths that I gained this round. Um, but anyway, I have two, five, eight excitement. And this, oh, it's actually only nine. Because I had one boredom, which increases to two boredom now. Then, end of the round, return the Jeeple. Get the Jeeple bonuses. I don't know if these actually matter. I know once it gets to six, you know, I'll just do it. Uh, so I'll get a mechanic. Um, get income, which is equal to eight for this round. Then I get Reset excitement. Return workers. Workers on my special people do not disappear. Uh, 
then compare your threat track and security track. If you have more threat than security, gain death tokens. I do not. Um, clean up central area, which for this one, we're going to roll these three. See what our competitors got. That's three additional. So I had five, six, seven, it goes up to 10. Um, then we shuffle these around. One, two, three. And all three of these. Two, three. And for objectives, one, two, three, four special buildings. One, two, three, four special buildings at least. And one herbivore, one small carnivore, one large carnivore. So that's completed. Then we have two small carnivores and three large carnivores. So that is completed. Actually, let me do these right. So this one, I gained six four. So I'm, I was at 26, I'll be at 32, which makes it 82. I need to complete it by round three. I did not do that. Then this one, I gained another six. So it makes me at 38, which is 58. Complete by round three, I did not do. And then uh, I do have two herbivores, but I don't have a third dude here. Let's just see real quick if I could have done it. So if I went to the incubator, could I have made a third Velociraptor? I would need one. I need one red. I would need one orange. So yeah, I couldn't have done it. Because I would need a red and two orange. Even with a discount of one, like let's say if I got rid of the red, I would still need two orange. So can't do it without too much fuddling of what I did on that turn. Um, and I definitely don't have that. So, end of the round, end of the game. Game ended scoring. At the end of the final round, players determine the final scores. The player with the final score, the highest final score wins. Let me just make sure there's no special stuff for AI. Oh, sweet. All right, so. Coins, players earn one victory point for each five coins they have left. DNA is not worth victory points. So that's two points, three points, one, two, three, four, five, two points, three points, four points, one, two, three, four. Uh, deaths, determine which player has the fewest deaths. For the uh, solo variant, you just compare it to the number of deaths. So they had 10, I had one, I lose no victory points. Um, Oh, apparently that's all they have on that. But then for the solo play experience, uh, all escaped dinosaurs, which luckily I was able to clean up, they would have reduced it by three. Then uncompleted objectives, I get minus 20 points because I had these two uncompleted. So it would take me 42 to 22. And unused specialist, so my mechanic was never used. I gain four victory points because I didn't have to use them. One, two, three, four. I was almost without having to use the lawyer, but I guess I should have not used the lawyer because I still had less deaths. I'm going to say I didn't. Nah. You, you, you guys will know. If I hadn't, I would have had more points. It's whatever. Um, then we're going to do our final score, which is a nice... 76 for my first time playing which puts me at promoted supervisor so it's an orange just barely made it into there uh i need to get higher up to like you know the hundreds i would say but that's the game um i actually do really enjoy it so i was worried because when i wanted to go sit down and play it i had to read the rule book first the rule book was packed full of information it took a while to get through um, then I had to read the, you know, the solo play rules, 
Uh, then I had to set up all of this, which was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but once everything is said and done, I have it all here. This was actually really fun. Um, I like the mechanics of, you know, balancing out how many workers you're going to be using during your public versus during your private. I like how you have to worry about where you're going in terms of the excitement that you bump up and um, gain or have to spend. I like the fluctuating abilities of the workers themselves. And not going to lie, I love Jeeple and the term Jeeple. Um, I use a yellow instead of green normally because normally, as you all have seen, I'm always green or black. Um, the yellow one or whatever color you want to call this, goldish, just looked really cool. Like if they gave me these choice of cards, I would pick this one, which is what I did. Um, so this is really fun. My first impression score um, for the solo pay uh, for the solo play. I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a four point five. And the reason being, it's a very solid game. I enjoy it. Um, your first time that you're playing it, if you've never played before, obviously, because that's just the first time. <laughs> Um, you're going to need to get a few turns to get under your belt what you're doing. Um, there's a lot of things that go on in this game. It's very easy to lose track of what you're doing, to lose track of the actions you're going to be doing. Uh, this is the kind of game where I'm worried about getting Madi to play it because Madi likes to learn in the moment. So, like, you know, she doesn't like the, the rules prep beforehand. And she may not grasp everything right away, which would mean that at the end of our first play, she may not have as many points and may not win because I have this over her. Um, I wanted to wait until we both were able to play, but I just really wanted to play, so I just went ahead and played. Um, so, like I said, 4.5, because for a solo play, there's a lot of stuff going on. I imagine even in a multiplayer game, first time playing, there's just a lot going on. It's gonna be hard for some people to grasp um, everything that's going on. It's a little heavier of a game, but if you give it the attention and the care that it needs, and not care if you give it the attention and uh focus that it needs then you you'll have a good time from what i experienced with this i had a great time playing it gonna play it again i like the fact that i got the metal coins because yeah if they had been plastic or if they had been cardboard it wouldn't have lost anything but i do gain things by having metal it's very nice you feel like you're you know actually playing with stuff when you have that um um and that's it so hopefully you all enjoyed this uh reminder if you got through all of this thank you because this is at recording time right now we're at an hour and 46 minutes i don't know how much it'll be once i edit it down but if you sat through all of that you're amazing i love you uh maybe you could leave a like a comment or even subscribe down below um also if you want to check out we have our kofi in the description down below as well um so hopefully you all enjoyed this no, I already said that. Until next time. Bye.